All right, so I just did Capricorn Cancer uh, reading, and now I'm on uh, Aquarius, and it seems like there's a love story trying to come up. Okay, now what is this? This one, trust. You have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. Yes. Good time to trust your intuition. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Okay, and... Acceptance. You are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. Okay. All right. So if you felt like you had to control everything, now's the time to uh, let the um, spirit work with you. Okay. And relax and let uh, them do their stuff. Okay. Now, someone wants to be with you, whether it's career or love, and there's a feeling like they, uh, they don't want to disappoint you. It's causing some tension a little bit, okay? And, uh, or is this you and a partner? I feel like it's time to, if you do have a partner, um, focus uh, there some a uh, little bit more. Well, do what you want, but that's what I'm getting. Okay. And I'm getting a sense of a lot of burdens, heaviness, and so it's like when they're around you, that air energy feels light and freeing to them. So I feel like connection is the way to that. If that's you needing to feel light and free. All right. Now, what is this? Use your judgment, discernment. You are developing the skill to distinguish love from fear, truth from illusion. Now, sometimes experiences come to us when we're trying to resolve those things within our own energy and action you want people to take more action towards you and business and whatnot you have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul okay and whenever you feel like no one cares or whatever that is you just um, moving into feeling supported will bring that in the physical reality. Now there's someone that loves you a lot. And that love for you um, is rippling across the universe. Woo! Okay, now you want someone in the outside world to take ownership or accountability for some things they did or said or whatnot. Okay. You acknowledge your, your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them, uh, love them at all as lessons. Okay. Now, for some of you, that might be uh, mischievous energy. Okay. But, oh, okay, I see what it's saying. It was coming out in another reading. It was like, if you have any guilt for anything, release that, because that can lower energy, and then that can uh, have an effect on the outcome. So you want to free yourself from all those things. And that will bring you back into balance and harmony. Okay, you are able to feel loving, balanced connection with everything, including your love. Okay, or interest for some of you. Okay. All right, let's see. Now, Capricorn's reading was like, they ventured off and was exploring in uh, other areas, but then through that journey, they realized who the one was. Okay. All right, so... I feel like in your case, you know who the one is, 
okay? For some of you, you're together with your partner, but it's just about reconnecting. Let me get a card here, a moon card on that. Okay, I got, I want to be your man. I want to be your man. I want to be your man. Oh, this was coming up in another reading. It was like, everything you desire or want, or if there was somebody that there were problems with that you couldn't work out in the physical world, then you write a love letter to them or a letter. It doesn't have to be a love letter of everything you feel to them. And you could burn it or put it up or whatever, but just be safe. <laughs> uh, or tear it up. But to get out your emotions on paper, okay. And I feel like that'll get you right back on target. Okay. Now, if there was someone or something on your mind, that could have kept you from... Um, getting picking up all the messages you needed to okay if you're feeling anxiety okay so you want to release that and uh, that way you can pay attention to the details that are coming to you in your daily experience from moment to moment minute to minute read the fine print read the fine print and everything there's a new blossoming, and that, that was coming up in the Capricorn reading. So, um, so I feel like that would say in the earth realm, there's something um, magnificent unfolding. Okay, so in the San Francisco um, bridge, there was... Um, well, they had an earthquake in San Francisco, so I feel like whatever this experience was, whether it's love or friendship or family, it was like an earth-shaking experience. Okay, and you could have even felt like there was a dry period, and you just uh, were not very emotional. Okay, and I'm um, getting desert. Okay, it could be like a desert storm, right? Okay, and um, there's some sort of mystery around a person that you wish you could break the code. Oh, these cactus, they have beautiful flowers that pop up. Lots of them. Okay. Okay, so listen to the sonic sounds. I'm getting like churches and um, farms, barnyards with the bats, but also it's some sort of, okay, messaging, messaging and okay, there's some sort of tricky energy some sort of tricky energy that had you in the blues. Some sort of tricky energy that had you in the blues. And for some of you, it was a Scorpio sign. For some of you, this is Scorpionic energy in your placement that was uh, a problem. But there, now, okay, so this is the thing. For someone, there's an ending coming with some uh, energy. And there won't be a renewal. 
because it was like a, a, a cloud, a black cloud is what I'm getting. But you are lucky. Spirit is with you, moving with you. Oh, that looks like a Statue of Liberty, that crown. Okay, they are moving with you. Time is ticking, and there were times when it felt like time was stopping. But luck is on your side. That group has some sort of, um, or person, has some sort of um, obligation to some other's things. It wasn't that they didn't want to invest. They had other obligations. That's what I'm getting. It's like a five energy here and a five energy there. And five. So that's spirit. Five, five, five. Hey, hey, hey. That's a Jewish from the Jewish tra tradition. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, but again, it keeps repeating. It's like something um, is building. Gazebo, poppies. You know what I'm getting? That song, The Book of Love. The Book of Love. The Book of Love. I don't know the, all the lyrics to that. The Book of Love. Uh, Okay, there is this familiar energy, whether it's an animal or human, but they are helping you in the background, okay, and you may not really understand their intentions, but they're trying to bring in healing. And they might seem anchored in it. Could have had some entanglement some dense energy but okay wow isn't that fascinating scorpio got the sun too and sun was popping up in other readings okay all right so there's a soulmate energy here with someone that uh you may not you may cut the ties Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Okay, you may cut the ties with someone. Okay, and that's okay. In another reading I was getting, uh, in the Scorpio reading I was getting, you can make new friends, right? Okay, that's what I'm getting. All right, light rising in the east. Keeping faith. Let's read that. That's interesting. The message here is with that is like, don't let go of the vision of what you have. See, there's a key here in the ear. Sonic sounds. That's what I was getting. Like, keep listening to spirit bird, right? And you, it will, it will be like light. Your pathway will light up for you. Okay, and how to move. If you connect, if you have children or have uh, are around children, you may get messages through them. Okay. And they may have some insight that would help you actually, they might have the key to um, Now, there might be a Marie, actually, for someone that is going to help you. Someone with dark hair that's going to help you. Oh, that's fascinating. Okay, so the other day, I was watching this um, video, and... Um, there's a Sagittarius in the wings that might also, uh, you might come together with them. And there will be an improvement, even though you went through a dark period. Okay. 
All right, and feeling unsupported. Okay, fire sign. Okay, could be Sagittarius, could be any fire sign. Okay, a uh, fire sign coming up, but now, okay, so messages through nature, okay, through na natural things you could get messages. For example, bird of paradise. One day I was having tea and I looked up and my avocado tree was trying to copy the bird of paradise and there was a pine needle, a certain kind of, I'll have to take a picture of it. And it was like they were trying to copy the bird of paradise and it was like glued onto the leaf. Now, no one glued it there. It was just nature working, working out um, the creation energy. Okay. And so... Uh, if it's still there. Okay, but... Oh, that's another message. Okay, so it's like, seize the moment and seize the opportunities that come to you because that, even in love, that moment may be the only moment you have. Okay, so seize every uh, moment. Okay, be present in the moment. And... Um, now, there, this person can seem edgy for someone. This person can seem edgy, okay? And um, and it could be like a talon uh, grip. But what I'm getting with this story is, okay, the rooster. There was this one video I watched. It was so funny. It was like a bunch of chickens or hen. And the hen was getting, you know was out venturing and they had eggs or something and a hawk came down and then the rooster came and pecked the um, hawk away okay so I feel like whatever unwanted energy is will be repelled okay and uh, white orchids so it's like whatever is coming in through the sounds it's like music to your ears okay and um like even i was listening to choir music today and it was like uh, you've got the whole world in your hands that was a song and so that's the feeling here okay and this is like putting a bird uh house in an area that um, something could get to it but then remembering that the hole is really small so only certain things could actually get there so it takes a certain frequency certain energy to be a match so you can move out of being a match to some unwanted energy and that will have you in a flow state again Okay, and you will be the match to, uh, like, Archangel Michael energy more. Okay, that kind of energy. Now, there could be some entertainers here, entertainer-type energy, and I would welcome that. Laugh, laughter is uh, can get you out of some things. Okay, all right. And you may have forgotten in, through your journey for some of you. Okay. For some of you, the rooster sign is going to help you defend and build. Okay. Even if it's just confidence again. Okay, so I'm getting like angelic energy. Now, did someone or a partner resemble um, something that was uncomfortable in your experience? Okay. Yeah, see, look, listen, listen, listen. So tune out, right? 
tune out um, those that are uh, trying to pray, like P-R-E-Y on the things, and tune your energy into this pure energy that's within you. All right, so let me see that. Oh. Okay, Priestess of Tellura. In the ancient and sacred Chinese art of Taoism, life is revered as an expression of supreme wisdom with its own innate natural healing intelligence. The wise soul chooses to align with the way of life, the Tao, feeling rather than forcing its direction. Yeah, okay, so it's like letting loose of the reins a little bit. Earth constantly expresses the Tao, radiating life force through her subtle energy currents. The soul can connect to these vitalizing telluric currents through the body, especially via the soles of the feet. Okay, so sometimes they say your feet is, is where your second soul is, right? <laughs> and be spiritually supported by them to grow in wisdom just as the bird uses invisible currents in the air beneath its wings to take flight. An important decision will lead to significant and uplifting change in your life. Feel for the deep alignment with wisdom to make your choice as you lovingly and creatively shape your future in harmony with the universe. Oh, you got the harmony card and it came up again. You may already be sensing the imminent change. Trust in Mother Earth's encouragement and support. Okay, if you want to get a screenshot there. And that is from Medicine Heart. Okay, let's see what else it says. Okay, for the spiritual benefit of all beings, I attune deeply to the wisdom of Earth Mother. I give thanks for her blessing of precious human life through which my soul can awaken. I ask for clarity, guidance, signs, and healing through enlightened wisdom to touch and inspire my heart with truth. At the perfect time, in the perfect way, I intuitively sense that which my uh, authentic path is asking of me and how to respond. May this work generate light and healing to support the happiness and freedom of all beings. Ooh, that's a nice... Thank you, right? Thank you. Thank you. 